I love drawing and making and building and and writing my creations. It's it's empowering, and and and, and it's momentum building. It's momentum building. Sometimes I run out of fuel. Sometimes I like listening to bad, sad music, and then I catch myself and I shut it off and I try and get back on that high flying disc. Sometimes it it gets wobbly where I'm not used to it, like always having jet fuel and going. Can you put the emotional scale up or look on your card? So, joy is number one, more words there too. Passion. Number two, enthusiasm. Number three, positive expectation, belief. Number four, five is optimism. Six is hopefulness. Seven is contentment or satisfaction. And can you see right there next to contentment in very slight print is this tipping point. So we're calling that tipping point, the difference between the upper half of the scale and the lower half of the scale. Even though there are lots more words on the lower half of the scale, energetically, that's the tipping point. That's the point where you do more allowing and less resisting. And when you realize that in every moment, you're somewhere on that emotional scale, you are never emotionalless because you are never vibrationalless and you are never not having a relationship with the larger part of you who is pulsing at a very high vibrational rate. So, your inner being is not always there either. Your inner being calibrates without going into anything that you would call resistance so that you can find your way in. Can you hear us? Path of least resistance. You don't always want to be bouncing off the wall in enthusiasm. Sometimes you just want to sit. Esther remembers vividly watching her mother mow the lawn and sometimes it was hot but it was fun to watch the patterns it was fun to smell what it smelled like and then Esther's favorite part because she was too little to mow then but she remembers her mother sitting on the porch afterward and just kind of taking it all in and Esther remembers how good that felt and the minute she was big enough to mow she so wanted to mow because she wanted that end point of satisfaction she couldn't start the mower but her dad would start it and then he'd go to work summertime and she'd mow till it ran out of gas and then he'd come home for lunch and he'd fill it up and he'd start it again and she'd mow till she ran out of gas they had a lot of grass and Esther sat on that porch and felt for that satisfaction that she learned from her mother her mother didn't teach her her mother didn't say now I've done the work now I can enjoy or now I've done the work now I can rest her mother worked and felt satisfaction and Esther felt the satisfaction that her mother was feeling and wanted it for herself and that's what we wish for all of you we wish for you to feel for that feeling of alignment and we want you to realize that your inner being is satisfied and interested and enthusiastic and that you get to be all of those things too but what you're reaching for is the range between satisfaction and off the wall enthusiasm in other words when momentum gets going really 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 fast it calls you in a physical way well Friends, we'll be easy about this, really easy about this. There's friction in the physical that does not exist in the non-physical. There's resistance in the physical that doesn't exist in the non-physical. You said, I'll take my light being into a physical world and I'll do my best to stay in balance. So of course you get tired. But you know what makes you tired more than all other physical things put together? Resistance. You get ornery about something and you can hardly move. Haven't you felt paralyzed just because of inactivity or because of indecision? Indecision is the thing that is the hardest on you as an individual human or the human race. Indecision. And it's because in that indecision, because your inner being has already made a decision. 
and will call you in the direction of the decision that you've already made are you hearing this if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next